Hello, and welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G, where I take callers and answer their questions about life, love, career, finances, or help them connect to a loved one on the other side. Today will be absolutely no different. I want to thank everybody for calling in today who is on the line waiting to have a question answered or to connect with a loved one. I want to let you know that I believe everybody is intuitive. I believe we are born intuitive. And throughout our life, at certain times, we all have those intuitive moments where we know, do this, don't do that, don't go down this road, or we just feel something coming in that's going to be big and life-changing. No matter what that looks like or feels like for you, I know that each and every one of us keep this throughout our life. And the more we use it, the more we practice it, the more, the stronger, the better it becomes in each and every one of us. So without uh, further wait for all of the wonderful people who have called into the show today, I'm going to go to the first caller and see what they want today. Is it to ask a question, to connect with a loved one? Let's find out. 941, how are you today? I am fine. My name is Carla. Hey, Carla. I had a feeling you were going to come. I've had a feeling that there was uh, a problem you were going to come on. I just keep on waiting. <laughs> Thank you so much for holding <laughs> on. Yeah, for those who don't know, I had a little bit of difficulty um, logging in, connecting to the internet today. So thank you guys so much for holding on. A, a couple of you held on for it, so I'm so grateful for that. So Carla, where are you calling from today? I'm, I'm calling from Florida. Nice. And I have a question. Go right ahead. What's your question? Uh, um, I work for myself. I'm still, I've been out of my office. My, I got out of a bad lease and uh, the beginning of July, and I'm still looking for a new office place. Um, I, I work for myself. Um, I do healing work and teaching and, and massage and stuff like that. And I was wondering, when do you see um, an opportunity um, that's for my highest good um, to come my way for um, getting an office? Because what's out there is stuff that I don't want. I don't want to be with other therapists that does what I do and yeah. just because of competition thing, people aren't that nice, you know? Yeah. So what I'm hearing is there are two opportunities that you're going to have. Oh, that's not at all what I thought I was going to say. I thought something completely different was going to come out of my mouth. Love when that happens. Um, Two opportunities are going to be coming your way. The first opportunity is going to come your way in October. This is a good opportunity, but there's a better one coming in November. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can use both opportunities if you choose to, but the one in November is the better option. You're not going to want to wait until November because you're not going to trust. You're going to think, well, what if she was wrong? I understand that completely. So the one coming in October, I feel like it's in like a physician's clinic, but this physician's clinic doesn't have any conflict of interest. It might be like a chiropractor's office or a, yeah, I feel like it's a chiropractor's office. Do not overcommit yourself. Do like, let's say, just say to the chiropractor, let's start with one day a week and see how that works out, or two days a week. Because in November, you're gonna get a really, really, really good opportunity. And I don't know, they're not giving me a lot of details with the opportunity in November. Still take the one in October, do the one in October, definitely say yes. Um, and Is that for me to rent a room from the person? I feel like it's a co- um, like a co-op sort of thing. I don't know how else to describe okay. it. It's, you're going to be there, you're going to be working there, and it might be like a piece, um, like a piece 
uh, piecemeal, I don't, I don't know why they're using that word, but like a split. Rather than renting a room, it might be a split. For everybody he uh, refers uh, you, he gets, and, and it's okay because these are all his or her, the chiropractor or the physician's um, people, and he'll he'll start sending uh -huh. them to you. So it's a it's a win win for you, even if you stay there th after you get the the situation in November. And in November, this is this this one. All I can tell you about November, I see pure gold light behind it. So pure gold light, uh -huh. as you and I both know, is really good. I mean, that's a really good, uh -huh. there's a lot of light, a lot of love. I feel like there will be no conflict of interest. Everybody there does their own thing. Um, and I feel like you uh -huh. will have your own room, your own space. And I feel like they work on a um, referral system. Whatever this is, um, I feel like it's going to be a very good situation for you, even if you're in a building with a lot of like-minded people but not like-minded practices. Now, I understand what you're saying about the conflict of interest. People say, oh, there's enough for everybody, and, and don't worry about competition. But spiritual people aren't always <laughs> as spiritual as they I know. should be. <laughs> well, they just can be nasty. Just they can, be, they'll say stuff and try to yeah. run your business or take away your business. And, yeah. and I've read it from a ch chiropractor before, and that's kind of like probably the worst person I would want to be with. You well, know? that one, you know, there are... I, I know a number of really amazing chiropractors that absolutely will do, like I started my business in a chiropractor's office who sent me person after person after person. He was so kind hearted and so good and he really helped me um, in that way. So there are really good chiropractors, there are really good spiritual workers, there are really good everything and then you know humans are humans there's going to be good there's going to be bad there's going to yeah. be indifferent just be very open-minded in order for you to move forward into this situation of love and light i feel like you do have to heal all this um cr 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 crap from the past Okay, and part of doing uh -huh. that is giving people like a new chiropractor an opportunity, giving a new uh, set of people an, an opportunity. It's it's like if you are in a relationship and it goes south or bad, you don't say I'm never going to uh -huh. be in another relationship. You try the next yeah. person, and then you you hope you don't bring all your stuff with you, and they don't bring all. In in any case, the bottom line is. You are going to have a really good experience if you open up and don't listen to what people say. Feel what they are saying. Feel their energy. Feel their intentions. And then you are going to be in a much better place with it. Um, the chiropractor's office, I feel like that's going to last between three and six months. But remember, something else will come in in the interim within a month later, but you can uh -huh. still stay in that chiropractor or that whatever that clinic is, whatever, it could be a physical therapist, uh -huh. who knows, whatever that clinic is, stay, you know, say yes, jump in and at least get that energy flowing again and give them that opportunity yeah. to prove that, that there's goodness and graciousness out there that will work for you, okay, sweetie? Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome, and thank you for calling in, and uh, please call me back and let me know how everything works out. Okay, thank you. You're Bye -bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm gonna go directly to the next caller, and the next caller is 917. Hello, 917, how are you today? Yes, hi. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for having a show today. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you for calling in and staying on the line today. Thank you. So, <laughs> where are you calling Thank from? You. I would like to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. What, what do you want to know? 
<laughs> yeah, I would like to ask about my relationship with my boyfriend, Trey. Okay, exactly what do you want to know? Because there's a lot of moving parts in this relationship. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts in this relationship. So exactly what do you want to know about you and him? Are you going to be moving forward, staying together? Yes, moving forward. And, yeah, what is, yes, fair has fun. Okay. Um, more recently, there's... Has there been a little complication with this relationship? A little one. Nothing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you for confirming yeah, that. See, there's a lot of moving parts with this relationship. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot behind closed doors. There's, I'm just seeing like an empty room with closed doors all around it, and these doors lead to rooms that are very dark. So there's a lot of stuff you're not telling him and a lot of stuff he's not telling you. The two of you have been kind of playing this little mismatch game so far. Both of you need to like decide, because it's not just him and it's not just you. You're both like, oh, this is okay for now, but we'll see what else is going on. Um, you both need to decide, is this what you want or not? And once you decide that, everything will fall into place or fall out of place. Uh, you two, my goodness, there's a lot of moving parts with this. You two really need to have a conversation about what you really want in a relationship and where you are and what that should look like to each of you. Because right now, you're kind of going on, for lack of a better way of putting it, a wish and a prayer, and you're just seeing what happens. Um, I think a, you guys need to have a conversation. After this conversation, you'll understand where he's coming from. He'll understand where you're coming from. And then from there, you can make the decision that's best for you. Um, well, we yeah, he wants us to move together. Like, we're, he's in another state, so he wants me to get there, you know, quickly. So, yeah, it's long distance. Um, I'm going to say again, I'm, I'm going to say this again. There's a lot of moving parts with this situation. There are some things that have not been talked about yet, and they really need to be talked about. There are some... You're kind you're kind of going on, and for whatever this means for your situation, you're kind of going on a wish and a prayer here. Like, oh, we're just, everything will just work out the way. You need to have a serious conversation about this and what it looks like and what it means to both of you. Because there are some things that have been unsaid. It's not always what people say when they're getting together and in that it's what they don't say it's what they leave out the things they're afraid to talk about okay you need to talk about the things that have not been talked about yet and then the two of you can make that solid decision moving forward i hope this makes sense to you yes well i mean are you saying that are you saying he's like if he had a shower or something because like I said, we had an argument the other day, but it was, you know, small. I'm saying, okay, here's the best way I can put this. If I were moving in with a guy, right, if I were moving in with a guy, I would talk about not only the personal end of it, but the business end of it. Like, what does this look like financially for us? How do the finances work? How, how does this work out? What if this happens? You need to talk about all the things you guys have not talked about because there's a lot of things that the two of you have not discussed yet that need to be discussed. This is a big, life-changing, life-altering move for you more so than him. What is he sacrificing in this. You're going to be sacrificing a lot. You need some answers before you do that, okay? Okay. If you were going into business with a person, 
and I love using this analogy every time, all the time. If you were going into business, if you were opening a business with a person, what would you want to know? What would you ask up front? Because l let me tell you, there's no more important business than your heart, your mind, and your vajay. Okay? That is the most important business that you have, is your heart, your head, and your vajay. Now, if you're going into business with this person, there are things you need to know that you have the right to know. And if you don't know those things, don't make a plan until you do know them, okay? But I do know, we did discuss that. Okay, I'm, what I'm seeing, I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing is there are things that have not been discussed, things that are still kind of not out in the open. And if you go there without having this discussion, within a month you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? Within a month, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about, and you're going to call me back, and you're going to say, oh, my God, you were right. This is what I didn't know. And then we'll have a conversation about that. Anything can be fixed, even after the fact. Anything can be fixed. But it's better to know what you're going into before you get there. Okay, sweetie? Yeah, how do we reach outside of this for reason? Because I'm going to have to call you off here. Okay, okay, well, I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to hearing back from you. I'm going to go directly to 407. Hello, 407, how are you today? Hi, Tony, this is Lori, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. This is the second call from Florida today. I love Florida, too. Just absolutely love it. So how how is everything? How's the weather in Florida? Beautiful. We're getting close to have our version of fall, and nice. uh, just getting gorgeous. A um, little bit of a light wind, and uh, gosh, it's so pretty. This is my favorite time of the year: September, October, that. November in Florida. Nothing better. I love that. I I absolutely love that. Absolutely. So, how can I help you? Do you have a question for me today? Yes, yes. If you could please, be, uh, I'd be humbly come to you. Um, I have had my home on the market for like three months now. And today, um, I uh, ran into, well, everything happens for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. I met two investors investors, a roofer, and a real estate agent, and they were all working on a uh, foreclosure home, you know, hashing out the details and whatnot, and um, they're actually, my, my neighbor is uh, no longer there, lost his house, and the uh, real estate agent and I became friends because I informed him what, what's going on in the house, so I had to, you know, go over and ask him a question. And uh, I met all these people. Do you see anything good coming from this exchange of information with the, either the potential buyer or with the potential investors or with the uh, potential uh, claims agent slash owner um, who can help me either get this house or get this house sold? Okay. Um, I had a good feeling inside. Yeah, they're going to, listen, one thing be very well aware of, there's a lot of, um, I do feel like there's going to be some interest, but you have to watch your bottom lines, okay? The best thing I can say is watch your bottom line. Uh, don't, um, don't be too... Uh, how do I say? Don't be too excited about. Uh, about going down that road because the bottom line might not look the way you want it to look. But do allow. I think the real estate person is is going to want to. 
help, but there will be a payoff for this person, which is fine. Everybody works for money. Um, so make sure you're watching your bottom line with everything, okay? Just, just watch your bottom line is the best way that I can say it, okay? Now, all of this I have been uh, doing on my own. My husband and I have our finances together, but my husband is uh, very controlling, very weird. Um, <laughs> it doesn't actually come from the same mindset that I do. Right. Uh, just very negative, and that's the culture. Mm. There's nothing I can do about it. Very pessimistic. So... Um, is this going to come back to bite me by me making the introduction and by me, you know, um, I, I love my husband, but he's, like all of us, we've all got our pluses and we've all got our shortcomings. Yeah. And his shortcomings is that pessimistic attitude that he was born with. Okay. So I feel like something good will come of this. It's not going to look the way you want it to look. Again, they're just saying, watch your bottom line. Take your time with the situation and make sure that you just, the biggest thing they're saying is watch your bottom line, okay? Um, your, your husband is, uh, yeah, you, I, I'll do this. I'll tell you he, he might not be in as much of a hurry as you are for things to process the way you want them to process. Does that make sense to you? No, because he's the one putting pressure on me to sell it, and he knows with my personality that I can sell it more, uh, I guess, more fortuitously because our, our agent that we've got is not, not showing an interest whatsoever. Okay. So my husband so, knows that if he can sell it, it's me, but he doesn't support anything I do. He wants to micromanage me, and, and I'm a grown-up. I don't want to move that way. Okay, so when I say your process and his process, your process runs one way and his runs the other. So here's what I'll, I'll, I'll try to say it another way. Um, do what you're going to do without saying what you're going to say. Don't necessarily run it by him to get the permission because your process is going to be very different than his process and your outcome will be very different than what he is thinking. Does that make more sense to you? Yeah, he plays play the radio and FM and I play radio and AM. I okay. know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, so as you're going... It's not easy... Yeah, as you're, go, as you're going through this process and wanting to let go of the house and he wants to let go of the house, make sure you might both want the end result, but you have different visions on how to get to that end result. Make sure you're keeping your process kind of to yourself and you are working within those parameters. Anything you run past him, he's going to have a better way, a better day. Don't do this. Don't do... Just make sure you're doing what feels right. It, it's more like it's better to ask forgiveness than permission in this case. I hope that makes sense to you. Crystal clear. And um, thank you. You probably saved me a text message or a phone call of aggravation. Um, I don't know why his process is the way it is. I love him no less. And uh, I think you just freed up the knots in my stomach. Oh, thank Pretty goodness. Much close to <laughs> sometimes, sometimes when I say things, it's really weird because sometimes the way things come out of my mouth... At first, it, you know, people jump to this conclusion, but then, you know, when it's explained a little deeper or they look at it in, in a different aspect to a different uh, relationship of it, they're like, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Your process and his process are very different. Just do your process. Know what you're, you know, do, do it, know what you're doing, and move on. Now, really quickly, I had another friend in Florida. I love her. She's like a sister to me. And she worked with many real estate agents. She finally fired them all and sold the house herself for the price she wanted. 
because nobody else was was putting any effort into it. So it's okay that you do it that way, 100% absolutely, okay? Oh yeah, no, definitely. I have no obstacles in life with my husband, and that's because of his rigid way of thinking that only his brain works and that only he knows the best way. He's got this very, very strong personality, but what he doesn't know is I get things done in a softer way, and I don't need anybody hip, hip, hooray, and clapping their hands and telling me I'm brilliant. Because he never acknowledges anything about me, but yet, like I'm a writer, and I've had total strangers tell me, wow, you're a really good writer. Not one family member, and not one friend, and not my husband. Nobody has ever acknowledged so, you know, I'm pretty much used to um, almost like being my biggest fan and my only fan. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how that works sometimes? It really is. I want to thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful I was able to, to have the time to help you. Remember, it's better to ask forgiveness than permission in this case. So keep going on that track. And... Keep allowing yourself to move forward in the way you need to move forward to get done what you need to get done. You're going to write a beautiful description for your house. You're going to write a beautiful uh, sales pitch for your house, and it's going to get a lot of attention. As for everybody who joined me today, thank you so much for joining me. I don't always get to tell you what you want to hear, but I do get to tell you what they tell me to tell you. So... Take a deep breath, let that breath out, enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to make some magic. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. Have an amazing day.